This is Dan Schneider. Dan is a former Nickelodeon producer who actually has various allegations of misconduct and inappropriate behavior towards minors while on the set. So Nickelodeon went ahead and parted ways with Dan back in 2018 because there was just too many allegations and rumors going on behind the scenes. Lately, we have so many different child stars who actually worked under Dan coming out and speaking about him being very inappropriate with them back then and actually making them do things that they were very uncomfortable doing. Dan even had an interview where he was addressing the allegations and the accusations. And I just don't feel like it was genuine. I feel like he said the things he said because he had to, not because that's really who he is. You guys let me know how you feel. I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. And even additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. So I owe them an apology as well. Yeah. Dan, talk to me about the writer's room. From what I saw, not cool. No, no, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I can cut right to the chase, let me just say, no writer should ever feel uncomfortable in any writer's room, ever, period, the end, no excuses. Most TV writers, comedy writers have been in writer's rooms and they are aware that a lot of times there are inappropriate jokes made and inappropriate topics come up. Uh, but the fact that I participated in that, especially when I was leading the room, um, it embarrasses me. I Again, I don't think anything he said was genuine. It didn't sound or feel genuine at all. And I want to know why is this guy not charged with anything? Also, why is there so little information on Mr. Dan Snyder and his situation? It's crazy. They change words from underage to young actors. If they're dealing with young actors, that could be someone in their young 20s. You know, but when we say underage, that's very direct and very strict. So I don't understand why there is such a huge gap in, find, in the information you can find on Mr. Dan Snyder versus the information you can find on someone per se like Mr. P. Diddy. So again, why are they hiding the information on Dan Snyder and why is he not charged?